Okay, so you can use the chair. Thanks, Marianne. Thanks, Marianne. Oh, nice. Um, oh, I gotta click on that. Gotta click on the continue button. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's start. Shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in. Open up the chest. That's my mantra. Oh, you know what, you guys? I'm really big, and you guys are really little, and I like to be keep marching. I like to see you, not me. There we go. Okay, now I can see you. Uh, shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in. Open up your chest. Okay, we did all that. Okay, um, and you can't see my feet. Yeah, you can see my feet. Okay. All right, let's go. Um, tap in the heels forward. Toes are back. Shoulders back and down. Open up the chest. If you just joined us, we're going to go with um, dumbbells today and a band today. And then um, like a Pilates strap. If you don't have a Pilates strap, a scarf will do or a belt or a pair of nylons. Um, if you don't have a stretchy band, you can definitely use those nylons. All right, toes are back. Come on. No, so bad. Now toes are tapping. Toes are tapping. So we just did the reverse. Yeah? Okay. Work those arms, shoulders back and down. Open up the chest. Really think about your posture. I have been thinking about my posture lately because... I've noticed my right shoulder is dropping. My hips are off center and I'm like turning forward. That is not good. So make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror um, and check your posture out because sometimes you'll notice that it's all wonky. All right, let's go tap it side, tap it side, tap it side, tap it side. So we're reaching with those toes, tap inside. You don't even notice it. Um, I can't even remember what I was doing when I noticed it. I think I was just looking at myself in the mirror with an outfit that was really ugly. And I was like, ugh. And then I was like, oh, why is my shoulder doing that? <laughs> So, um, yeah, it broke my ribs a while ago, and I think that they just started getting tight again because I wasn't doing my stretches on a regular basis, and everything starts getting wonky. So I started my stretches again. So if you ever have, like, an injury, um, okay, now you're going to go heel, um, heel and toe out, yeah? Toe out, heel out. If you ever have an injury, always keep, if you've, you know, done physical therapy, keep those uh, exercises and stretches, those sheets. And if you don't have them, you can call um, the physical therapy place up. They can reprint them for you or email them to you. Um, and then you yeah, do them because I'm telling you, old injuries come back to haunt you. And you got all that physical therapy for a reason, so you just go and start doing them again. And I'll tell you, within like three days, I already started feeling better. Two and one. Now tap it back, tap it back. So toe tap. If you notice, we're starting with those feet. Um, I don't care what those arms are doing. You can go singles or doubles. I don't care. But think about those feet. You want to stretch and stretch. And so, well, actually, this is hip flexor. So think about the hip flexor and the back, the lower back, open up, stretch that chest as you go. Um, it's a little movement, but you can definitely feel that body warming up. Give me three more. And you can go your pace, right? You don't have to go fast. That's why I don't usually count. And when I count, I don't even do a good job of it. So there you go. Last one. Now push the heel, slow it down. Push the heel. I want you to go all the way to that heel, all the way to that heel. Go as far back as you can and open up the chest. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're going to kill me, but I might have to go get my inhaler because I can already feel it. Ooh. We'll see. I'll go a little bit more and then we'll. We might have a water break. <laughs> Give me, I don't know if it's gonna pass. Sometimes it it's better on its own, but ooh. All right, last one. There we go. 
All right, march it out, get those big knees, big knees, high knees, like your high knees. Again, you can do this from the chair. You don't have to be standing. All these things can be done in the chair. Oh my goodness. Bring those knees up, but don't bring them up past your comfort level because you're just starting to stretch. We're stretching, you know, the lower back, maybe the upper back a little bit if it's pulling on the hips. So, all right, give me two more and then we're gonna go. Let's go wide, yeah? Let's go wide. Let's go wide. Open up the hips, open up. So you feel that? So now you're stretching the inner thigh, the hip most definitely. If it's pulling from the back, maybe you're going too high, right? So your choice, but it's wide knees. You can do this in the chair for sure, but stay off that tailbone and give me a nice tall stature. Give me three more. Load out, two more. And one more. Now you're gonna bring that knee down and reach back, knee down. See how I'm going to the side so you can see. That knee is not forward at all. I'm opening up the chest so I'm getting a pec stretch as well because I'm reaching for that toes or heel, not toes. I'm not reaching for toes, I'm reaching for heels. That's what I'm doing. Open up that chest and don't arch the back. I want a nice, tall, neutral spine. Yes? Yes and yes. Two, there are no no's. <laughs> yes, this. And one. Okay, let's cross the midline. Cross the midline. Cross the midline. Cross the midline. Cross. Oh, yes. See, that's nice. You're going to feel that stretch. If you feel some pinching, maybe you're going too extreme. So, hmm, don't go extreme, you guys. Ah, cross the midline, cross the midline, cross the midline. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Open up the chest, shoulders back and down. That feels good, doesn't it? Oh, I know you guys are achy today because anytime there's a lot of rain, right? So go your speed and go your range, but this should feel good. Last one. Okay, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. There you go. You can go faster, you can go slower, but I'm telling you, the fact that you are here and if you have arthritis, kudos to you. Pat yourself on the back, because I know you got up this morning and went, ooh, rain. Why do you do me like this, rain? <laughs> Right? Because I know I got out of bed and I was like, oh, my feet. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> no, I haven't done that in a while. Give me two more. Woo, we're going to go. Are we going to go backwards? Let's go backwards. Okay, let's go backwards. Now you can hold on to a wall while you do this, for sure, or a chair. Yes, it's your choice. Or you're going to balance totally up to you or you're in the chair and you're kicking forward Whew. my cat is stalking you guys she's looking she's in crouch mode ready to attack <laughs> three more <laughs> two more and one more Nicely done, you guys. Let's go wide. Let's go wide. Let's go wide. Kicking it. Kicking it out. Press through those heels. You remember, you don't want to um, kick from the knee. You want to kick. Opening up the chest, shoulders back and down. Um, and not put a lot of pressure on that knee, yeah? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, two more. And then we're gonna cross it, cross in the midline. Are you ready? Let's cross that midline, boom. Bam, bam. Oh, I can feel that sciatica oh, all along my IT band. Holy smokes, you guys. What does the weather do to us? Why is mother nature so mean? Oh my goodness. 
can feel that. But afterwards, we're going to feel so good. And if your neighbor is like, oh, my back, I just laid in ba bed for until noon today, you could be like, -na 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 -na. I feel good. I worked out. <laughs> no, that would be rude. Don't do that. <laughs> Even though you're going to want to. <laughs> Last one. All right. Let's bring it down and reach up. 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 Ooh, just a nice little squat, not too crazy, right? We got to prime that back today. I'm doing extra, extra. We're doing extra stretches today because hmm, I feel like everybody's going to need it. Ooh. And if not, I need it. So there you go. It's all about me, guys. <laughs> okay. So we get side down. Side, down, just a halfway. It's not really a squat. It's just like a, a squat, just a SQ, <laughs> not a SQUAT. <laughs> squat, up, squat. <laughs> That's my term for this move. A squat, a squat and a reach. <laughs> Woo, two more. Let's go. Down, down, down. Boom, down, boom, down. Good. Now let's reach, 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 reach. We should be able to, oh, can I cry right now? Oh my gosh. Woo. Ow, ow, ow. I know I'm not supposed to be saying ow. Sorry, but it's ow. Today, roll up. Oh, I can't even roll up, you guys. Ooh, let's do this again. Um, straight legs, round back. Oh, that feels a little bit better. Second one's always better than the first, right? Eek. Roll up. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Raw hard. Roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders. Oh. Okay. Yay. We got that. You guys are going to grab some water. I'm going to grab an inhaler. <laughs> Sorry. Grab your dumbbells. Grab some water. Okay, sorry about that. Um, all right, there we go. So you are, have grabbed your dumbbells, yes? Let's do some dumbbell work. All right, we're gonna start with side to side. Draw the belly button in, toes are forward. Oh, the deer is back. Oh my God, you guys, she's so cute. Okay, my, there's a deer in my yard and she's just so cute. Shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, open up the, the chest, and we're gonna go side to side. Boom, just side to side, boom. If you're in the chair, what are you doing? Side to side, yeah, you got it. I like going side to side because um, we do it all day and we do it wrong all day. So bend those knees, squeeze the glutes. What do the glutes do? Oh, you're going in. So you're not completely on the side, yes? It's like you're going to the floor to pick up a piece of paper. We've done this before. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. So it's not completely like side. This is a little bit different. You're trying to go, yep, okay. You're trying to go towards the floor, pick up that, bend the knee, squeeze the glute. It's like a, a partial squat, partial squat. It's a SQUA, not a full squat. <laughs> but the um, whew, CN spots, guys. <laughs> um, last one. Uh, woo, CN sparkles today. That's always good. Roll those shoulders. <laughs> I'm a hot mess today. Roll those shoulders. Roll those shoulders. 
and then bring it up. Draw the belly button in, bring it up and down. That's it. Up, whoop, and down. So this is mostly upper body, shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, make sure your spine is in neutral. There we go. Bring it up all the way down towards your hips. Ooh. There we go. Open up the chest. We got four more to do. Let's do four more. Don't lock those knees. Unlock those knees if you're standing up. Don't lock those knees. Two more. Push. Who's here today? Oh, Maureen, Anne, Meg, Abraham. I already said hi to Abraham, but I'll say hi again. Last one. That's all I can see on this page. So sorry if I'm missing you. Okay, relax it out. Roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders. We're going to combine that little move. Let's go. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. And go side. Boom. Bring it up. There we go. Side. Boom. Bring it up. There we go. We just combined them. Yes. Hey, we're still using those glutes as we do our squat. Not a full squat. Um, so don't get lazy. Squeeze your body. Open up the chest. I was trying to think of a rhyme for that one, but I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> that made sense. <laughs> I like when I can rhyme things. So over the weekend, I had like a bunch of people like having issues with like their, you know, ailments or whatever. <laughs> And everybody was ripping on me because I was like, you need to stretch more. You need to stretch more. My son is like, is that your, uh, you know, sentence for everything? I'm like, yep. Everybody needs to stretch more. It's the truth, though. I totally think everybody needs to stretch. So it's a true statement. All right, we got two more of these. Let's go. Even if you have, you know, something unrelated, like a hangnail, you need to stretch more. <laughs> Take care of that hangnail. <laughs> All right, we got one more. Come on. Squat. Push. There we go. Squat. Push. Woo! That's it. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Guess what we're doing? Both at the same time, draw the belly button in. This is full on squat. Bring it down, pull, push, up. There we go. What am I doing if I'm in the chair? I can sit in the chair and do a sit to stand, or I can stay seated in the chair and do down and up. So hinging, your choice. You hinge to your range, yes? Not any more than your body says yes to. Listen to your body. Boom, down, push through those heels. I do not want to see any toes being used on this exercise. Boom, use the butt. The butt is like, yes, it's my time to shine. Well, if you have a shiny butt, then you have a problem. <laughs> no, 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 we don't, it's not, it's time to shine. It's, it's, it's time to work. There we go, that's better. <laughs> push up boom bring it down yes your range Woo! that feels good i can breathe again breathing is huh, underrated i'll tell you last one boom. relax <laughs> roll those shoulders i should have just told myself to stretch more when i was not breathing good right mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll those shoulders. All right, shake it out. Guess what? Round two, draw the belly button in, contract those abs. We're going to combine all those moves into being really fancy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. Sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot to um, turn my phone off, and that was right by you guys. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, shoulders back and down. You're going to do one and then double and then one again. Ready? Bring it down, up. Boom, now double, go, double, bring it up, 
push, boom. Now single on the other side, yes? Boom, up, boom, up, down, double, double down, double up, single down, single up, double down, double up, single down, single up, double down, double up, single down, down, single up, double down, double up. Yes, this feels good. Single down, woo, single up, double down, whoops, I almost went up, double up, single down, this last one, single up, and then other side, ready? Double down, woo, you don't have to go this fast, it's your choice, single down, this last side, boom, and single up, nice, take those dumbbells, draw the belly button in, toes are forward, figure eight it, figure eight, figure eight, Open up that chest. You can do this from the chair. Figure eight. Open, open. Come on. Woo. Oh, now there's a little chipmunk. All the animals are out today, you guys. Oh, he's a little baby. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right. So you're either seated in a chair for this one or you're standing. It's your choice. Bring it to the center, draw the belly button in, contract those abs. You're gonna lift up and down. So I'm drawing the belly button in, bringing that knee up. So you've got choices. You can be here or you can be ankle. Yes, it's up to you. Boom, boom, there you go. Draw the belly. So this is balance. This is hip mobility. If I'm in the chair, I'm gonna show you this one from the chair because I've never done this one with you guys before. Boom, boom, boom. It's a lot of ab work, lots of ab work. So keep going, draw the belly button in, contract those abs. If you don't feel it in your abs, pull in from the abs, shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, boom. You don't have to go this high. It's up to you, you can be here. Just lift that knee. It's totally up to you, but you want that wideness of the legs. Yeah, you want those wide legs. That really gets those abs working. And think about the spine. Don't tip that belly or don't tip the tailbone in. You want neutral spine. Open up that chest. You got two more to do. Woo. Woo. One more to do. One. And one, nice. Okay, now we're gonna do a turn. Draw the belly button and contract those abs, shoulders back and down. Bring it out, push, pull, and in. Yes, you see that? That's that pivot. You know that pivot that we always do, yeah? I'm just doing a push, pull. Bring it back to center. Yeah, you got it. Other side, push, pull. Bring it, so it's a transverse. It's a turning move, but I'm pivoting. Push, pull, bring it in. You don't have to cross the dumbbells. You can be here too. I just kind of like that feeling. Boom. Bring it to the side. Push, pull. It's not a fast movement, yes? You gotta think about your body. Shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. You know me. Those I say those words 27,000 times a day, but it still holds true. Boom. Contract. Boom. Pivot, contract, boom, pivot, contract, boom, pivot. We got two more right now. Let's do it. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Really think about those shoulders. Maybe use one dumbbell instead. You got one more to do. Boom, back to center. Good job. Roll those shoulders. We're going to combine. Yes, we are going to combine. Draw the belly button in. Grab some water if you need to, right? Um, take a pause. You're either in the chair or you're on the, um, or you're not using dumbbells at all. It's That's also up to you. Um, draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. You're going to, boom. Then you're going to pivot. Push, pull. You're going to tap, right? 
pivot, push, pull, bring it in. Oh, see how my knees are bent? Draw the belly button in, open up that chest. Boom, and pivot, boom, boom. Center, tap, boom, pivot, push, pull. So a lot of balance in this one. If you're in the chair, still balance, squeeze those glutes and stay off that tailbone. Boom, bring it in, pivot, push, pull, back to center, boom, pivot, push, pull, back to center. There you go, draw the belly button in, pivot, push, pull, back to center, boom, pivot, push, pull, back to center, draw the belly button in, you got this, squeeze the glute, boom. Back to center, boom, pivot, push, pull, back to center, boom. We got one more, one more to do. Back to center, let's go. Tap, pivot, push, pull, back to center. Tap, pivot, push, pull, back to center. Roll those shoulders, roll those shoulders, roll those shoulders. Good job, guess what? We are gonna get rid of these and we're gonna grab our bands because we need to do some band work. Okay, band work. So your choice, um, bands with a handle or no bands, it's up to you. I am sweating in here. Whew, it is way too warm. I got the air on. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take this, uh, the left foot. We're gonna take the left foot. We're gonna put the right foot back and we're gonna do a lunge because we have not done a lunge. You can do this in the chair seated as well, yes? Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Just bring that one foot further out, yeah? Um, or you don't have to use a band and you can hold onto the chair. Draw the belly button in, pop that back heel up. This is balance, peeps, balance, balance. Tuck that tummy in, squeeze all through here. Yes, yeah? shoulders back and down. Posture is everything. Pop that heel up. I do not want this. Bad, no. This, this is, see my hip? How is that okay? Boom, pop that heel up. Yes, it's hard to balance. Guess what? You're working those muscles and you're gonna gain um, strength in the areas that you need to gain and you're gonna get better balance. This alone gives you a lot of better balance. Hold on to that chair, take it small, hold on to here. Um, sit on the, on the chair doing this, that's fine. Whatever you do, um, just make sure you're working those muscles. Draw the belly button in. Okay, my lecture's over. Squeeze your butt, squeeze this butt, that right cheek, then that knee, draw the belly button in. You're gonna go, whew, you're gonna go, ooh, no, yeah, right here. You're gonna go down and up. I have to, I can't hold it in. Hmm. I got to go a little bit lower. You want that resistance. There we go. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. So you want that band to be creating resistance, shoulders back and down. So when you pull up, you feel that. So this is the tightest resistance you can handle. Bring it down. So as you go down, a little less resistance, this is the most resistance. So lots of tension when you're here. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Watch the knees. If you feel the knees squawking, you're going too low. Press through that left heel, not the left toes. That makes a big difference. Give me four more. Holy smokes, three more. Two, relax the shoulders and one nicely done let's switch it draw the belly button in i'm going to go to the other side so you know i switched and then take that left foot back then that right knee squeeze your booty okay shoulders back and down pop that heel up but lisa it's so much easier like this oh, i know i'm gonna hit you with this thing now draw the belly button <laughs> contract those abs Squeeze those glutes. You're like, you can't see me. I'm a black box. Boo-boo. <laughs> okay. Resistance here. Yes. Bring it down. Squeeze that booty up at the top. Push through that red, right heel. I almost said red heel. 
right heel and feel that resistance. Woo! Should not feel this in the knee. If you feel it in the knee, push through the heel more or you're going too low. Bring it down. Shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in. What do we got? I think four more now. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake it out. Okay, that was fun. We're gonna make it even more fun, okay? So draw the belly button in, go back to that original, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. Whew. Okay, how is this one? Okay, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. You're gonna take, no, you are gonna do it in one, two. Okay, draw the belly button in, open up the chest, push through that left heel and then the right heel is up yes not down like i told you before up shoulders back and down contract those abs you're going to do bicep curl bring it down 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 we were just supposed to do bicep curls but i'm running out of time so we're just gonna go right to the combination. Lucky you, right? You get the combo because you're so accelerated. I know you can do this. Draw the belly button. Pull up, bring it down. 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 Woo, three more, or no, four more, sorry. Four, bring it down. Three, bring it down. Two, bring it down. Watch, you're not stressing out that knee. Last one. Woo, oh my God, I am like, I feel like I took a shower. That's how sweaty I am, you guys. TMI, but I'm dying here. Okay, right right forward, left back, Woo. and then we are getting it to where we can feel it. So remember that bicep curl, and then draw the belly button in. That's really important, so you don't wanna be here. Do you see that difference? See how my knee is bent and my heel is up? I'm pressing through the heel. This is a lot of balance. You can be here, or you can be here. Balance beam or um, train track. Your choice, shoulders back in down, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, bicep curl, bring it down. Well, I gotta go back a little bit. Bicep curl, bring it down. So I can't do a big bicep curl because the, there's not a lot of, ooh, the resistance is really heavy on mine. Push through the heel, don't push through those front toes, right? That right foot is forward, you're on that right heel. That's going to get your knee. If you're using your toes um, on that right leg forward, then you're going to start feeling it in that knee. And you don't want to. You want to feel it in the quad. Yes. Woo. Pull up. Bring it down. Pull up. Bring it down. Is your quad squawking? Good. Bring it up. Down. Bring it up. Down. Four more. Let's go. Four. Oh, my leg is shaking. Three. Woo. Two. And one. Bring it down. Nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. Get rid of that. Grab some water. I'm going to use my infinity scarf <laughs> to wipe the sweat off of me. Woo! Okay, so your choice. We are going to get down on the floor, but first we're just going to do some side lunges um, just to kind of stretch out the inner thigh. So um, if you don't want to get on the floor, you're going to stay in the chair. But what I want you to do is just open up the hip. You're going to bring this. Um, let me show you with this too. Um, you can be here. I just want to stretch that 
that um, inner thigh out. So you're holding on. You can also be seated like this. So your choice, it's up to you. You've got lots of choices. Choose wisely. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, other side. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. You don't have to use the chair. It's up to you. You can be here as well. But you want to feel that inner thigh kind of really stretching, keeping that chest open for four, three, two, and one. And then you can also do this. So your side, open up the chest. Can you see me? With the chair in front and to side. So you're here, boom, and you're here, boom. Nice and easy. Don't go too crazy. You don't want to feel it to where you're like, hmm, that doesn't feel good. So if you're seated in the chair, you're just going to put one leg out and then the other leg out. Yes. Give me two more. So you're, you're here. You want sticking that butt out. Last one. Okay. Nice. So you got your chair. You're going to stand up. So you had lots of options there. Now we're going to get to the floor. Yay. Floor work. Grab your, um, you just need your, um, your Pilates strap or your infinity scarf or your band. If that's all you got, that's fine. It's just, I hate when it slips off people's feet. But if you have athletic shoes that have like the little divot, um, you're pretty good with that then. Okay, let's go. Oh, getting dizzy. Are you getting dizzy? Getting dizzy? Okay, so we're on the floor or we're in the chair. It's up to you. We've done a lot of these exercises before. So you're going to know. And just do your favorite. What I do with my infinity scarf, you guys. I lost my infinity scarf. Lucy, did you? Oh, there it is. There it is. I always lose things. I found it. <laughs> okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to be on our backs. Yes, on our backs. All right, so here we are. Let me tip this down a little bit more. And we're going to kind of ah, think about what needs to be stretched, right? Okay, definitely. Um, let me go back a little bit. There we go. Now I'm too. Definitely. What you want is um, to think about what your needs are. So your leg is over and your back is nice and flat. So push that back in the floor and then your right knee is up. Yes, 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 and yes. And the kitty's like, I can do this. I do this all day. Okay, so you feel that stretch right through here. Now you're gonna straighten this leg. So if you're in the chair, you're just hinging forward. Keep your right knee bent though, and your foot on the floor where your left leg, oh my God, can you see my leg is shaking like crazy. Um, your left leg is on the floor. Your heel is on the floor if you're um, seated, yes? And you're hinging forward and you're gonna feel that stretch. If you feel it in the knee, bend the knee a little bit because that'll take that pressure off. So yes, and you want it from here to here. That's the stretch your, your goal is. So if you feel it in the back, guess what? Your back is super tight, super tight. You need to stretch that back more, five times a day. Hmm. Yes, five times. You want it better? Do it all day. I stretch all day long. I've had lots of broken bones. Um, and if I don't stretch, I feel it. So, okay, relax it out. Bring that knee in, give it a little hug. Yes. Okay. Now you're going to bring it up a little bit and you're going to feel that stretch. So here we are right through here again, but it feels a little bit lower or higher, sorry, in the leg, right? If you're, I'm shaking right now. My body is like going crazy. Ooh. But that's okay. That just means I'm stretching good. Two more. One more breath. 
and good. bring that to a nice little knee hug. If you're in the chair, you don't have to knee hug. Do whatever feels good. You can bend over. You can do whatever feels good. If that hug in the knee feels good in the chair, if that's something comfortable for you, go for it. Okay, take that off and we're going to move it to an ankle. Ankle. So roll that ankle. These are super important too. Um, I do these every day too. And I noticed when I would like go to like run, like, you know, like you just go to like, like if a car is coming and, and then you're walking from the parking lot, like let's say you're in Kroger's, you're walking out and then a car is coming and they stop for you. And then you're, they're like waiting for you. You know how you go into that little, like little jog, not really crazy or anything other direction, but you like you walk faster even just out of courtesy. I would pop my ankle it would hurt i would be like you, you know what i'm talking about that pop 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 all and, and like you want to fall down and you're going to kiss asphalt <laughs> that's what i would do all the time and it would drive me crazy like i couldn't just like go into a like faster walk jog or i would be like almost like falling like my ankle would just give out. Now that I do these, now point and flex, point and flex. Um, now that I do these, I don't have any problem. I can walk faster. I can go into like a little jog, nothing pops. And it would hurt too. It wouldn't just like a pop and it wouldn't hurt. It would be, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're gonna come up. You're gonna hold that, you can actually, put that scarf behind if you want, um, but you're gonna point and flex. So I'm, I'm showing you here, I'm pointing and flexing that foot, but it's extended. So that changes it a little bit, right? You feel that little bit of a change? If you need three more, two more. Oh my God, I'm gonna get a Charlie horse. And one more. All right, now we're gonna work on the other leg. Let's take that scarf or band or whatever. Be careful when you're switching legs. Be mindful of what your body says yes to because, you know, you don't want to tweak that back while you're switching. Okay, so this knee is up. <clears throat> My leg is extended. If you're on the chair, your heel is on the floor and this foot is on the floor. Yes. Don't raise your foot up because that's going to give you more strength rather than stretch. If you're on the floor, no, you're raising that leg. Where am I at? Okay, I'm so good. Shoulders back and down, relax. The shoulders if you're seated. Well, either way, relax. And just let that stretch guide you. Four and three and two and one. Okay, I'm gonna extend this leg. Flatten out that back. Flat, really get into there. Get into that back, open up the chest. You're hinging forward, yes, if you're in the chair. Hinge forward. You're going to feel that stretch from the knee up. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee. Give it a hug. Okay, if you're in the chair, what are you doing on this one? Maybe you're, you're hugging the knee, maybe not. Maybe you're just bending over. Okay, now... You're gonna bend that knee. You're gonna put that heel on the floor if you're in the chair, and then you're gonna hinge forward, yes? But for this one, you wanna feel it higher up in the leg, still the back of the leg. So hinge forward, hinge forward. Take that breath and hinge forward, relax the shoulders. Oh my gosh, my leg is going <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Relax it out. Okay, so what am I going to do? Roll that ankle. So if you want, if you're in the chair, you can cross your ankles. You can um, cross your legs. It's up to you. Um, just make sure you're making like a square with your foot rather than a circle because I want like I can, I don't know if you can hear it, but my ankle's cracking like crazy. Um, that's fine. 
you know you're getting to those corners if you're cracking. Okay, other direction. Let's go. But I don't want you to just be like da 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 da. Like you should feel the stretch. If you don't feel the stretch, you ain't doing it right. You need to really like, um, if you're popping, you're doing it right. If you feel that stretch as you go, um, you're doing it right. If you don't feel anything, you're not doing it right. You're not going to your range is what I'm trying to say. Okay, point and flex. Lisa, what are you trying to say? <laughs> point and flex. Point and flex, point and flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. All right, we're going to extend that foot. Be careful when you put that on. Extend that foot and pull. Oops, no, I didn't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Point and flex. So I'm pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing, but with my legs straight. Yes. So if you're in the chair, extend that. Hinge forward and do a point and a flex. You might feel weird on the floor because your heel will like kind of rub on the floor a little bit, but that's okay. Four, or you can pick it up and point and flex this one if you want. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now you're gonna take your right leg over your left knee, yeah? If you're in the chair, this is the figure four one that we've done before. Your choice, you're going to bring this through the leg. And you're going to lift only if you feel like it's okay. You're not going to lift if you're in the chair. You're going to hinge forward. So that foot stays on the floor. The left foot stays on the floor. And you hinge forward if you don't feel it. But this is the deal. You have to hinge. If you're hinging forward, you have to hinge from the pelvis, not the back. Does that make sense? You stick your butt out and you arch your back. That's the proper way to do this. If you don't feel it, if you feel it already, this is where you should feel it. Um, kind of like the butt area, you know, to the leg, leg butt area. That's where you want to feel it. It's a psoas and the piriformis and that connects to the pelvis. Um, You got it? Take a breath. All right, bring it down. If you're on the floor, you're gonna take that right leg or right foot and you're just slowly gonna bring it down. Now, maybe this is not for you. Don't do it. If it's not for you, don't do it. If it feels great, awesome. I have a guy that's L4, L5 issues. Man, he's got herniated discs, all kinds of, this is like our go-to. Um, it was a game changer. He, it was like, it's his favorite stretch. So I always try it with people who, it looks pretzely, but um, a lot of people with a lot of issues, it helps. So I do do it. So this is the thing, getting out of it. You gotta be very careful. So open up, draw the belly button in, nice and slow, and bring it up. Not real fast with your movement. If you're in the chair, you're gonna go back to that figure four on the other side now, maybe your ankle crossing, maybe your knee crossing. It's just up to you, or maybe you're in a full figure four. Maybe you need to hinge forward, or if you're on the floor, maybe you need to bring it up. So this is where you should feel it, right through here. It's a nice little stretch. Hmm. Just, you know, nice relaxed rest. When you're stretching, it's all about relaxation. You can have a little bottle of wine and, <laughs> you know, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> so people can't relax without wine. So <laughs> I'm telling you to relax. There you go. <laughs> take a breath. As you take that breath, maybe you're bringing it down or maybe you're unhinging, take a breath. Your choice on this one, you're gonna take that left leg and you're gonna bring it, I'm gonna T, I'm gonna bring it to the side. There you go. If you're in the chair, you can just look to the side and that'll facilitate that stretch right through there. Um, 
might be lower, like right through here. Take a couple of breaths here. Just really relax into it. Um, you know, some people, I like the long stretches. When I do my own stretches, I hold them for minutes. Um, obviously, we don't do that here, but um, that works for my body. Find out what works for your body. Maybe some people bounce. I'm very opposed to bouncing, but I'll tell you, I had a client that that's how she got her stretch. And ever since then, I was like, mm, do you. Bouncing is bad for general public because um, you get too far into it and you can tweak something. But if that's what, if you safely bounce, that's what works for you, go for it and bounce, do whatever works, right? Okay, I want you to bring your arms back, yes. And then straighten out your legs. So you may not be able to go all the way back. It's your choice. But you're going to straighten. If you're in the chair, you're doing a morning stretch. Do a morning stretch. Just straighten, straighten, straighten. Take a couple breaths here. And then slowly bring it down. And then we want the right arm. And the left arm. And the right arm comes down, and the left arm comes down, and let's bring those knees up. And you're going to bring those knees out to the side. So we did this um, before in the chair, so you know how to do it in the chair. I've been doing a lot of these stretches in the chair, so um, feet on the ground, open up, just feel that stretch on the inner thigh. Flatten out that back, press those hips into the floor. Really feel that stretch maybe in your lower back, in the inner thighs, and be gentle on the knees. Take a breath, bring those knees in, take those arms out back to a T, bring those knees to the side. If you're in the chair, you can hold on to the side of the chair if you want. That'll give you a nice back stretch. But this is where it is, back, 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 back. Take a breath. Relax it out, bring it back to center and let's go other side, nice and slow. Press those knees towards the floor. Take a breath. Hmm. Actually, I forgot one of the moves, so yeah. Take a breath, okay. So you're here, right? You're going to take this arm, so you're going to bring it to the side and then bring it out. Yes, feel that stretch. You're going to bring it to the side and out. Palm up, yes. Bring it to the side. Okay, last one, and then we're going to switch. So palms down. Take a breath. Bring it back to center. Going to bring it to the other side and we're going to do that same thing. Bring that arm up, palm up, bring it out, palm up. Feel that stretch in the shoulders. If you're real tight in the pecs, you really feel this. All right, side. We got two more to do. Bring that down. And bring it to the side. Yes. Okay, very slowly. Bring those knees to center. Bring those knees in for a hug. If you're in the chair, you can hinge forward. And let's do poor man's massage. If you're in the chair, you can do wide knees and put your head through um, towards the floor. Just give yourself a good back stretch. Other direction for the people on the floor. Or you can do the same thing that we're doing. It's totally up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, bring it back to center. Bring those arms up. Reach for the, either you're reaching for the sky or you're stretching and you're arching that back. So let's create some space in between the floor and your back. If you're in the chair, you're arching. You know what? If you're in the chair, grab a hold of the back of the chair and bring your, your back to um, a cat cow. Yeah? Okay, because that's what we're going to do. 
So bring those knees up, round. Yep, you got it. This is the cat. Now arch, 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 arch. This is the cow. Cow, cow, cow. Arch, 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 arch. Let's go back to the cat. And again, you can hold the back of the chair and just do like an arch with your back. And then you can bring those arms forward and round your back. So it's up to you, whatever you wanna do. Okay, this is the arch. Arch the back, arch, bring that, try and bring that, create that space between the floor and your back. And then one more, nice and slow, as long as it doesn't hurt. If it hurts you, guess what? Don't do it. Round, round, round. Do another stretch. Do one of those stretches that you go, oh, I love this stretch. Do that. You don't have to do what I'm doing, yeah? Okay, bring it down. Very slowly, you're going to get to the side and come up to where you feel comfortable. Uh, maybe you're seated in the chair again. Maybe you're here. Oof. Oh my God, I was so sweaty today. Okay, fingers to thumb. What do we got? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm always running late, always OE. That's the story of my life. Yeah. Oh, I can't run to the beach today. Mm, sad. Okay, let's work on the neck because this weather gives you a lot of neck issues too, right? Because sinuses drain and that creates inflammation and stiff necks. Oh, grumpy. So let's work on the neck. Okay. So ear to shoulder. You can grab a hold of that chair. If you're on that chair, you can grab a hold with the opposite arm. And, or if you're on the floor, then you're just doing this. Okay. Bring that chin forward. You can still hold on. Oh my goodness, you guys. You feel this? Okay. And bring it back. So it's just kind of a, a line. You're taking that ear and you're bringing it back and then you're bringing it forward and you're bringing it back. Just a nice little stretchy stretch. There you go. Okay, last one. Okay, now look in your back pocket. Now look in your front pocket. Do you feel that stretch, how it changes? Look in your back pocket. Look in your front pocket. Bring your hands to the back of your head. Give it a massage or the back of your neck. Sorry. Massage the back of your neck. Get in there. Get into that cervical spine. Feel the little right along the side of your, your cervical spine. Just get in there and feel the little lumpy lumps, the tender areas. Okay. Hold on to the most tender area. Look up and down. Look up, push your fingertips into some tender spots. Not too crazy, just gentle, 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 gentle. Oh, there you go. Maybe move those fingertips to another spot and just look up and look down. Doesn't have to be a big range. Okay, let's do the other side. So ear towards your shoulder. There you go. Feel that stretch. Maybe you're holding onto the chair. Maybe you're just here. And then you're going to bring it forward and back. Kind of like you're in a line. You know, you've got something here and something here, and, and you can't go past that area. So try and stay in a, a decent line. Back and forward. And like it's pivoting, you know, like on a on a track. Okay, so now you're going to look in your pocket. So bring that chin towards your chest, look in your pocket, and look in your back pocket. Look in your front pocket, look in your back pocket. Look in your front pocket, look in your back pocket, and bring it back to center. Roll those shoulders, let go, take that tennis ball, bring it down, 
side to side. Side to side. All right, back to center. Oh, didn't that feel good? Yes. Throw those wrists. Throw those wrists. We're done. Yay. What time is this? Ooh, I'm over. I'm over. Sorry. Three minutes over. We're three minutes over. That's not too bad. Bring it back. Bring it forward. Bring it back. Bring it forward. Bring it back. And bring it forward. Good job, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you, thank you. Nice, stretchy workout today. Ah, you're welcome. I just thought you guys needed it, you know? Like, hmm, this weather, Every all my clients are like, oh, this weather. So I feel like um, I'm just even more stretches today. We'll go back to cardio, 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 and chip training. Not so much stretch as sexy, but it's nice to mix it up, right, you guys? Because you can always go back to this one. That's why I like changing it up so much. Because you can go back to the one, like, think about the date. Hey, I want a stretchy workout today. You can go back to this, this date and make it more, like, about stretching when you're feeling it. So, there you go. All right. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much. You take yourselves off uh, or chat or whatever. It's up to you. Did Thanks, Lisa. I'm, I'm glad we had this today. I didn't know if we would since OPC is closed. So yay, this was great. I know. I was the same way. I woke up, I was like, oh, wait a minute. So I texted Marianne. She texted me right back. She was like, no, we're on. Okay, yay. Thank you. And thanks, Marianne. Oh, I know. Marianne does all the work. She's so working today. Everybody else has off. She's cooking. Of course. <laughs> Typical Marianne. Um, all right, everybody good? Maureen? Abraham? I do good. Does anybody know anybody without power? No. Did anybody hear that big boom last night? I said, <laughs> you must be closer to me. It woke me up. It was huge. Yeah, maybe that was OPC getting hit. <laughs> we heard it from our